Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Holy Grail Legion of our new Avalon Nation, as we shift, leap, and merge timelines into our one true ascension timeline, all is coming into alignment and resonance with our harmonic convergence of unity consciousness. Our local Solaris continues to send Gaia and all her children of the sun creation codes of new earth with 12 more C-class solar flares today and another M-class flare maxing at M1.14 at 614 UTC. Pachamama also had a powerful activation today on the Ring of Fire with a magnitude 6.4 earthquake southeast of the Loyalty Islands in the Pacific Ocean at 128 UTC. Our new Lemurian queendom rising up. In honor of all life in all dimensions, timelines, and lifetimes, we bless this realm with the holy waters of the Divine Cosmic Mother as we walk our sacred path with heart and bring all into the harmony of the music of the spheres. Together we step over the threshold of the gateway to our paradise of our new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sis Star of the Light, Elagia Sun Star. Incredible power is returning to the Sophianic Grail lineages because women are following their intuition and taking fearless inspired action from what they receive. Do not hesitate on your intuitive nudges. Follow the thread. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy. Solar and Sonar, the system is made of reflections via crystals that reflect the light from Source. Reconnection to Source means the activation of all reflections. Upon the equinox, Silver Mother activated the biggest cleansing from all the dirt of the fallen system. I just experienced its anchoring in the fields and the personal charts. Great incoming blessing of light. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Joanne Tracy. So many are feeling out of alignment, watching from 5D into 4D into 3D all at once. The bouncing in and out as observers, the emptiness and the fullness feels overwhelming. This will settle in the collective as soon as we allow the flow of these states, that they are all one and not separate to each other. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Mary Costello. What if everyone just woke up this morning and smelled the roses? The scent of the rose realm which had quietly grown around our feet. The womb has restored to the golden point of honor and magnetic order, held this way as a sonic channel of the Eternal Mother, allowing the powerful code holders to be who they are, here in honor and golden order. What if we are here now, and it is being felt, the illumination of our rose codes and the anchoring of the first light of creation is saving our earth. And the earth begins again, from the tenderness of the light-filled soil, from the sweetness of roses, from the golden order of the Eternal Mother. It is dawning on us, dawning within us, with the gentleness of radiance, as each forgotten piece of us tingles fresh with light. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Islam Amun. In ancient Egypt, every day in every temple, 144 flowing in, 
specially designated persons performed a ritual focused on making offerings of food, drink, clothing, and ointment to a divine being, deity, king, or blessed dead, made accessible in the form of images. Through this ritual, the ancient Egyptians sought to maintain the fabric and process of the universe. According to their own writings, the ancient Egyptians did not worship idols. They did not consider the images themselves to be divine forces. Rather, the image provided a visible and tangible form in which the offerings and service of human beings could be channeled to the divine forces. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 32724. March has helped you make peace with aspects of your life. To understand, choose, and feel into this new year and what you want from it. But today releases you from your deliberations and ponderings. And tomorrow opens all your doors and windows. Why? Because the dragon is ready and rising. Your right action today is to appreciate all March has given you in advance, because much of what you got will only show up later, which is why you need to see it now so you can remember. So look back over the month, without judgment, at what has changed and be grateful for it. Steady and trust yourself today and hold that space as much as possible as the year goes on. It's one of March's gifts to you. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray, The Great Awakening, Earth's Quantum Leap into a New Era. Our beautiful planet Earth is undergoing an extraordinary evolution, a quantum leap in its journey through the cosmos. This process known as the Earth's Ascension is a complex and multifaceted transformation of the planetary consciousness and its physical structure. The Earth's ascension is a spiritual and physical shift of our planet as it raises its vibration to align with higher dimensional frequencies. It's a transition from a 3D awareness characterized by duality and physicality to a 5D consciousness characterized by unity and spirituality. The Earth as a living being is evolving, expanding its consciousness and moving into a higher vibratory state, much like a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. The Indications of Earth's Ascension There are several signs indicating the ongoing process of Earth's Ascension. These include a noticeable increase in global unrest and changes in weather patterns, and a growing sense of time speeding up. On a more subtle level, many individuals are experiencing shifts in their personal consciousness, including heightened intuition, increased desire for authenticity, and a greater sense of interconnectedness with all life. These are all indications of the Earth's vibrational shift and the awakening of collective consciousness. The Implications for Humanity The Earth's ascension holds profound implications for humanity. As the planet ascends, so must its inhabitants. This means that each of us is invited to undergo a personal ascension process, raising our vibration, expanding our consciousness, and embracing a more harmonious way of being. This transformation is not always easy. It may involve releasing old patterns, confronting shadow aspects of ourselves, and navigating periods of uncertainty and change. However, the ultimate result is a shift into a state of higher consciousness, unity, and love. Next steps in our ascension journey. As we continue on this transformative journey, there are a few key steps we can take as individuals to aid in our personal ascension process and contribute to the collective shift. Embrace personal transformation. Personal transformation is a cornerstone of the ascension process. It involves releasing old beliefs and patterns that no longer serve us, embracing new ways of thinking and expanding our consciousness. This might involve practices such as meditation, mindfulness, and self-reflection. Foster Unity Consciousness As we move towards a higher vibrational state, 
the idea of separation becomes an outdated paradigm. Embracing unity consciousness means recognizing our interconnectedness and fostering a sense of love and compassion for all beings. Cultivate resilience. The journey of ascension isn't always smooth. It can involve periods of uncertainty and upheaval. Cultivating resilience helps us to navigate these challenges and keep moving forward. This can involve practices like self-care, maintaining a positive mindset, and seeking support from like-minded communities. Engage in service to others. As we raise our consciousness, we are often called to serve others in some capacity. This service can take many forms, from helping individuals in our local communities to working towards global causes that resonate with us. By engaging in service, we not only contribute to the collective ascension, but also continue our personal spiritual growth. Unseen Light Forces at Work As we raise our vibration and align with higher dimensional frequencies, we are beginning to tap into potentials and possibilities that were previously beyond our grasp. We are moving from a state of separation and duality into a state of unity and harmony from a state of limited perception into a state of expanded consciousness. As we traverse the transformative path of Earth's ascension, there are unseen light forces at work, guiding and influencing this monumental shift. These forces, often associated with higher dimensions, spiritual guides, or the universal consciousness itself, are orchestrating our ascension nudging us towards higher vibrational states and expanded consciousness. The Earth's ascension, accompanied by the work of unseen light forces, is creating a profound sense of anticipation and excitement. This anticipation stems from the understanding that as we ascend, we are moving towards a grand reveal that awaits humanity. We are on the brink of a new era for humanity. These unseen forces, however, are not there to dictate our journey or to impose a predestined path. They are there to support and guide us as we make our own choices, learn our own lessons, and ultimately shape our own reality. In this sense, the ascension process is not merely something that is happening to us, but something we are actively participating in, guided by these subtle but profound unseen forces. While these light forces remain unseen and largely unfelt in the physical realm, their influence is often discerned through synchronicities, intuitive insights, and profound personal transformations. Many individuals undergoing their personal ascension process report an increased sense of guidance, a deepening connection with their spiritual self, and a growing trust in the journey, even amidst uncertainty. Conclusion, the Earth's ascension is a transformative journey, not just for the planet, but for all of its inhabitants. It's a cosmic call to awaken, to rise above our old paradigms, and to embrace a new way of being that reflects our highest potential. As we navigate this profound shift, it's vital to remember that, like any journey, it is filled with both challenges and opportunities. But by embracing the transformation with open hearts and minds, we can ride the wave of ascension toward a brighter, more harmonious future. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. We are the Galactic Federation. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the thegalacticfederation.com. And today from Divine Broth or of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. The Eclipse Passageway, March 25th through April 8th, 2024. Day 3. Shifting Our Perspective. Dear friends, the recent lunar eclipse on Monday has officially opened the Eclipse Corridor Energetic Vortex. 144 continuing to come in. This special energetic period will last until April 8th through 10th, 2024. I will be posting daily updates on the energies as we walk together this new eclipse corridor to help you navigate and make sense of what might be happening within you and around you. 
As we move deeper into the eclipse passageway, the energies become more intense. The planet Earth is now being showered by the end of the light codes of the first lunar eclipse and the beginning of the wave of light codes slowly arriving from the second solar eclipse that will take place on Monday, April 8th. The main objective of this intense combination of past and future eclipse information we are receiving these days is to trigger our personal and collective evolution. We are moving away from inflexible, outdated, limiting 3D structures into more fluid, lighter, and compassionate 5D ways of being. This is the reason why it may seem that certain aspects of your life seem to be dissolving and moving away from your timeline. You are moving into new ways of being that are no longer able to hold the old and outdated low frequency patterns. The physical and emotional symptoms you may be experiencing these days are related to this 3D to 5D shift. There are other energies at play as well right now, solar wind related geomagnetic storms for example, but today we are focusing on the eclipse light codes. Remember to ground yourself all through the eclipse corridor. As we walk through this eclipse corridor, take a step back and look at the bigger picture of your life. Step away from the limited vision and reactive frame of mind of me against them. Try to change your perspective, shift your point of view and zoom out. We are but a speck of dust in the universe, yet we think everything revolves around us. We build fences and walls and create invisible borders. We become so lost in our individual experience that we do not realize that most of the things that keep us awake at night are actually distractions. This moment is just a breath in the timeline of your life. This life is a fleeting moment in the tapestry of your soul's experience. Your soul's experience is a flash in the timeline of the known universe. And the known universe is a grain of sand in the unknown divine multiverse. Today, please take a moment to see the bigger picture and look at your life from a higher and more heart-centered perspective. To find deep compassion in your heart and to acknowledge how far you have come in the timeline of your soul's journey. And even though our presence on this planet is just a flash in the universal timeline, please know that by being here on earth during this evolutionary period, you are assisting in creating a more loving and compassionate planet. What you focus on, you become. You are part of the team co-creating the 3D to 5D evolutionary jump. The physical symptoms may continue these days as many of us are purging and clearing deep and ancient layers of outdated limiting behavioral patterns. We are truly witnessing evolution as we speak. The head and digestive systems are the main targets at the moment since these are the areas that require most of the energetic recalibration. Rest as much as needed and stay well hydrated to facilitate the flow of information around the body. Sea salt baths or ocean swimming, if you are fortunate, can also be a wonderful way to assist the process of energy transmutation. Stay tuned for tomorrow's Eclipse Corridor update. Have a wonderful day. Much love. We are one. From DiegoBerman.com and today from Ascension Lightworkers to the Ascension Lightworker Collective. The powerful full moon lunar eclipse in Libra marked a time of reset and new beginnings, potentially leading to tensions, unexpected shifts, and surprises. Welcome the need for inner balance and harmony to identify areas of stagnation and navigate the path forward. Self-love is key, prioritizing aligning with your soul's guidance and following your heart guidance for a balanced life. Change is imminent, trusting in the process of ascension and self-discovery during this highly transformative time here in New Earth energy. The influence of Pluto and Aquarius following the lunar eclipse in Libra has triggered intense emotional purging and healing for many. This process may involve processing past grief, losses, and engaging in deep psychological clearing. 
Pluto's energy is unveiling repressed emotions such as any lingering anger, resentment, and sadness to develop full liberation from past pain, with old wounds possibly resurfacing for deeper level healing and internal transformation. Karmic consequences and a sobering reality check encouraging us to face many truths without any illusions this is a highly sensitive time and urges us all to break free from lingering addictions toxic patterns and unhealthy connections and relationships before the fresh start of the solar eclipse in aries on april eighth taking best care of yourself during this planetary major reset allowing space for emotions to flow releasing heaviness and purifying your heart space you possess the skills and tools to shape your reality by harnessing energy to manifest your desires using your power wisely by focusing on positive intentions and approaching these earth changes with love fortune favors you as you plan and take steps towards achieving your dreams here on ascending earth this is an auspicious time to trust in your purpose and destiny, exercising patience as you craft your path to success. Ascending loved ones, please try not to worry as your prayers and manifestations have been heard and answered. Trust that the way it unfolds will always be for your highest good, even if you cannot always see it otherwise or feel you can control it. 1221 coming in. Letting go of the outcomes is key, expressing gratitude as it is already destined to be. Courageously align with your truth in your heart center. Allow yourself to feel the stillness within, to let your inner self guide you and connect with your higher conscious thoughts, visions, and feelings. Trust that courage resides within, and by aligning with your heart's desires and soul's strength, you will unlock your full potential and become intensely focused on personal and collective evolution. Expand your light to shine brightly, to fulfill your purpose by anchoring and radiating positivity. As we move into April, we can all expect some relief and ascension, acceptance empowers you to make new choices, to unlock infinite potential. Acceptance is about acknowledging without necessarily agreeing. In 2024, embracing acceptance is important to experiencing the year as a time of major transformation rather than seeing it as personal struggle. By letting go of division and judgment, focusing on self-improvement and collective unity, we can collectively shape a positive change in the world. The focus moving forward will be on self-acceptance. This plays a significant role and acts as a catalyst leading to self-love. Legions of light beings have arrived to assist during New Earth's energetic upgrades, providing light and protection as prominent shifts occur behind the scenes. It's wise to disconnect from outer chaos and find moments of stillness each day. Spending as little as 10 minutes in nature promotes focusing on being present and feeling love within and around you. By taking this time for self, your deepest soul desires become much clearer in this ascension process. The new earth energy emphasizes the allowing instead of forcing or controlling outcomes, leading many through a profound reset mode and internal recalibrations. Sensory overload activates rapid internal evolution needed for the external reality changes. This energy encourages recognizing true worth instead of settling for less. Major revelations are unfolding globally, revealing staged events that influence the masses. Individuals ascending are now revisiting not just their past lives, but their parallel lives playing out realizing their multi-dimensional essence and existence. Higher self-connections continue to strengthen, offering a higher perspective in these experiences and transformations. The recent weeks have brought intense transformations as well as possible chaos. As we enter the next solar eclipse gateway on the 8th of April, you may feel the Earth energies either peaking or settling down. This next planetary phase prompts deeper reflection and refocusing, 
urging us to re-identify with the ascending self and to make necessary changes with undesired cycles and patterns. This is a time for new possibilities and to focus on personal connections and developments as many ascending now undergo significant spiritual evolution and DNA activations. In loving and devoted ascension service, from Ascension Lightworkers. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. After the pyramid keys and codes were activated, I was called upon to work with the teams of the Intergalactic Federation on the full activations of all the pyramids on Earth. Then my attention was drawn in powerful ways to Ushmal, Pyramid of the Magician in Yucatan, Mexico. It was buzzing with energy linked directly to Giza, but also to Arizona and the western parts of America, plus Mount Shasta, which in turn links it to Mu, yet much older through the Olmecs and to Africa and the Lion Kingdom and the first supercontinent. North America was attached to Africa then, as there was no Atlantic Ocean at that time. Its original builders were the same megalithic ones of the Lion Kingdom. However, it was later destroyed and then rebuilt. This pyramid is immensely important, for it links all other pyramids in South and North America together, and its twin is still hidden in Colombia, South America, as I was shown. This results in all the hidden pyramids being activated in the USA, and the energy will have a ripple effect on the whole cosmic energy being released from today and next week and thereafter. It is shifting everything. As this pyramid links with Mount Shasta and the megalithic sites in Montana, Colorado, Utah, and Canada, the West Coast. Note that the Grand Canyon had much higher water levels, and once there stood a thriving city of gold where the Egyptian and now Asian interaction was an everyday occurrence, as one still had spacecraft then. Thus a huge awakening. I am being told that this will amp up, even as the whole pyramid energy grids are fully activated, and that the first will start in this area, and then move where new landmass rises, and connects with the pyramids in the Pacific, even as Giza and those in Africa and Antarctica are activating the rest. This is a purification in the highest degree, as when a very important initiation takes place, before the soul can ascend into much higher degrees of consciousness. The hour is now. I was asked to share this, as those souls who were involved then have all returned, and this will activate their soul memory banks. From JudithKusel.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. Releasing is bringing so much growth, prosperity, and security. Your intuition and feelings may be revealing this truth. Trust that all your prayers and manifestations have been heard. Success is yours. Stay faithful and patient with the divine timing as we move through the Aries new moon eclipse. Refuse to engage in conflicts and difficulties and keep your focus on what you are creating. Continue getting grounded and recovering your power back especially over systems that made you feel powerless. Ask the Most High for support if you need help staying in alignment. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, love Carolyn, from 144godcode.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ra James. Inside of the Eclipse Corridor is one of the most powerful places to be. We are in between the two eclipses right now. This is a powerful portal space of heightened energies. Our April 8th Aries New Moon Solar Eclipse is all about our relationships with others. We are healing our relationships. This will be a total solar eclipse and the path of totality will cross America. Eclipses always occur in pairs. During eclipse season the moon's energy is overpowered by chaotic faded events. Eclipses are powerful cosmic events that help us to process our emotions and to shift into new phases of life. We have four eclipses in 2024. All of them will help us to shift us closer to our destinies. 
We have a huge theme of clearing what no longer serves us. Eclipses are dramatic wild cards. Things can go any which way. Why you want to be using the energies to recharge and to manifest. Eclipses bring huge changes. Our next Aries eclipse will also conjoin with Chiron and Mercury. That means it's bringing a huge wave of healing energies. It will also be triggering your deeper, buried wounds. This Chiron alignment will be bringing up your trauma and intergenerational trauma to the surface. It is also activating your North Node. This eclipse will be bringing in new energy beginnings. It's also opening up and activating new future timelines. Expect fate and destiny to be hard at work during this time. This is good news for any twin flames as you'll be drawn back together, if apart. From SparksofDivineLightHealing.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light Sohila Eclipse fields are dragon fields. These most powerful of all new and full moons only happen when those potent energy gates known as the moon's nodes line up with the sun, the moon, and our own beautiful cosmic jewel, Earth. When they do, the dragon comes alive and realigns you with destiny. The dragon fields are where you are. Between the lunar eclipse, the only one in Libra between 2016 and 2034, still spiraling through your mind and your heart and your body, and the total solar eclipse that's on her way. That eclipse will be exactly conjunct the centaur planet Chiron, a half-comet, half-planetoid who migrated into our solar system in the year 675 and will one day, astronomers tell us, migrate out. Until then, Chiron is on a mission, and the eclipse that is just 11 days away is definitely part of it. What is Chiron's mission? It's to remind us that our magic is that we are part of one thing and part of another too. Every atom in our being was made in a star, and to pretend you're not woven into the immense, spectacular, reality-bending dazzle of the great mystery breaks you, and it breaks reality too. Just look around. April's Destiny Reset is a Chiron Reset. It's also one that invites you to see a bigger truth. One so big it shatters old paradigms that say things are hopeless and all the cards are in the hands of others. For that you can thank the dwarf planet Eris, who the Greek gods of a rising patriarchy referred to as the goddess of discord. She wouldn't make sweet and play nice with anything that violated the truth of her being. Today in the still live field of a lunar eclipse in Libra, inviting you to let go of ways of keeping the peace that are too small and inauthentic for our polarized world. The messenger planet Mercury conjoined Eris. It was the first time since her 2005 discovery brought her alive that they've conjoined with the mighty dragon's head has been in Aries, where Eris has been camped out for 103 years. That's how far out she is, star peeps, in every sense of the word. It was quite a conversation, and it's not over. At the total solar eclipse, that's just 11 days away, Mercury will be retrograde and he will conjoin Eris for a second time in 24 degrees Aries. The eclipse itself will be in the degree where Eris was discovered, 19 degrees Aries. It's her degree. The dragon, Star Peeps, is in the room. It's time for dragon moves. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Chanda Sparkles, 327, the Scorpio moon brings an intense edge over the next two days. The energy is dark, primal, and demanding. Proceed with caution in all areas of life, especially making major long-term decisions. Take time to reflect and navigate this intense period wisely. The edge can be shocking and magnified as the moon opposes Jupiter and Uranus and Taurus. It's like mobsterish. And with Mercury slowing to go retrograde on April Fool's Day, this is trickster energy. Like the Joker in Gotham City, it's also primal sexuality, and it wants what it wants at all costs. The intense energy of the moon and Scorpio during eclipse season is pushing boundaries and amplifying our instincts. 
our intuition as our best guide. Exercise caution in all areas of life, especially when making long-term decisions. Let's navigate this intense period wisely. There is much, much more to be revealed to us past the Aries eclipse, 4824. Patience. There's a lot of weirdness. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Colleen Lemma, 1010, flowing in. On Wednesday, March 27th, the moon, ruler of our cycles and feminine principle, is in deep water sign Scorpio. And today she is challenging Pluto, ruler of death and rebirth, in detached air sign Aquarius. Then she will make a positive trine connection to Mars, planet of energy and action, in ethereal water sign Pisces. And finally, the moon will create a difficult in conjunct to the sun, ruler of the ego and the masculine principle, and action-oriented fire sign Aries. The action today, however, is to let go and trust as to what is unfolding within you and outside of you. The eclipse portal that we are all in will realign us on the path we are meant to take. The stars, the heavens, your angels and guides are all assisting in the shifting and changes that are to take place. Of course, you still have your autonomy and free will to make choices and decisions or initiate movement forward. But today it is more of a surrender and go with the flow kind of day. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar Aspects, Mars and Pisces, Semi-Square Chiron and Aries. The Moon enters Scorpio, Mood intensifies. Now we descend into the underworld, explore compelling mysteries, search for truths, and every now and then, as we turn a corner, Pluto spooks us with a cackle and a claw-like hand skittering along the wall. Silly Pluto. It's just a little fun for him whilst he teaches us about emotional control and maybe if you dare, you might laugh too because laughter is the way to chase away fears. Underneath the horrors of the past, beyond the anxieties of the future, there is an abundance of energy available to blast through blocks. However, with Mars and Chiron in conversation, it's clear that this isn't an easy process. For some, this connection may evoke the odd sad sigh, that miserable feeling that nothing is worth the effort, the failure is inevitable or already occurred. If humor is too much of a stretch, then shift to encouragement instead. Focus on what can be done instead of what can't. Reframe failure as a learning experience. Resist any urge to get angry with yourself. Stop pushing yourself so hard. Stimulate your imagination and creativity. Do not doubt your strength or your ability to heal. Take each day as it comes. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zoltkeen Times, Keen 158, White Lunar Mare. Lunar is the name for the number two, and its keywords are polarize, challenge, and stabilize. The second day of a wave spell is always challenging, but don't fret, as it is important to take a look at what holds you back from time to time. Who doesn't avoid problems and stress? Practice self-discipline today and tackle issues you've been putting off. The number two is kind of a provoking energy. If you resist dealing with problems, your day will not be as easy as if you just dealt with things. You can polarize the situation and remove obstacles that hold you back. Remember, we are in the red earth wave spell with its agenda of evolving. And so think about what obstacles need removing that are preventing your progress. Today is white mirror which represents reflect, order, and endlessness. The harsh reality can be a shock when it falls on a lunar day. It's unforgiving. Brace yourself for some truths you won't like. Do not feel sorry for yourself, but instead take action to resolve things. Knowing the truth is always better than being kept in the dark. And since we are in this evolutionary wave spell, we must consider that it could be lies that are preventing our progress. If your life is not moving forward at the pace you desire, take a look truthfully at your circumstances. Have you been fooling yourself over the likelihood of something succeeding? Or perhaps there is something that could 
work out well for you, but you have undervalued the chances of it succeeding. The mirror always offers us a chance to face the truth. If you want to remove obstacles in your life, it's time to be honest with yourself. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Lunar Mirror, 2 8 Snob, Keen 158, 27th of March, 2024, Revealing Truth, Reflecting Harmony, 27 3 2024 equal 9 3 8 equal 9 11 equal 9 2 equal 11 equal 2 9 11 awakening shift 11 11 illumination portal 2 2 twins portal day codes 27 harvest rewards power leadership 9 completion endings humanity grace mission 11 illumination portal gate polarity Two twins, partners, cooperation, alliances, duality. Month year codes. Three, holy trinity, joy, communication, creativity. Eight, infinite abundance, source flow. Eleven. One, new beginnings, original, leader, independent, unique. Two, twenty, the awakening, clear vision. Twenty-four, charisma, happiness, healing, joy. Keen one, five, eight, equal fourteen, equal five, Liberation. Buckle up. 9-11 code. A challenging day to get out of your comfort zone and face divine truth. Day two in the red earth wave spell of evolution through navigating our way through the signs, synchronicities, and earth magic, flowing and aligning with the rhythms and cycles of Nova Gaia. Today we are responding to the earth's impulses in order to anchor that energy into the physical plane into our physical bodies, environment, and creations. Tone of creation, lunar tone two in the physical realm. The lunar tone represents the sacred twins, cooperation, relationship, polarity of male and female, and duality. Its action polarizes, power challenges, essence stabilizing. Today we have an 1111 and a 22 twins code amplifying the lunar tone and the action of the mirror. Very potent duplication of energies today. Yesterday we magnetized and attracted spiritual energy and today we anchor that energy in our physical bodies and physical environment. The lunar tone may also reveal challenges, any distortions in the mirror world in order to recognize and release anything stopping us from navigating our true path, the divine path desired by spirit for our personal and collective destiny. Be careful. Do not get lost in the shadow games of duality consciousness within this false matrix today. Shine your light brightly and attune your GPS through your inner truth to find your way. Today's question is, how can I stabilize what is being reflected in the light of truth to create sacredness and greater love in my physical body and environment? Divine blessings for the birthing of divine loving spaces to house your beautiful soul. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 158, White Lunar Mirror. The mantra the code for today is... I polarize in order to reflect, stabilizing order, I seal the matrix of endlessness. With the lunar tone of challenge, I am guided by the power of heart. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Sherry Dawn, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor.
I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Cheryl Gissing for your pledge and support on Patreon and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light Fulvia Nisirios for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we'd like to thank everyone continuing to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, or other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful divine decree from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sandra Walter. Divine Directors of the Organic Ascension Blaze the proper flames and frequencies through my beingness to raise my body, mind, heart, DNA, and experience into a pure expression of my divine image. I transform my sacred body temple through the resurrection frequencies and harmonics of cosmic Christ light. From AscensionPath.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. 144. Continuing to Pulse In the eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.